Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and in this video I'm going to be uh, showing you the unlocking of the Void Elf Allied Race. So when you're on your Alliance Tune, if you go to the northern area of Stormwind, you'll see a building there that you can go in. Uh, you can then take a quest from King Anduin, and you can pursue um, an Allied Race. If you've already done the Light Forge, then the only choice is Void Elf, but if not, you choose Void Elf. I'm kind of showing you some of their racials and their models here. In Tropic Embrace, and people think that's overpowered, it's actually uh, about the same damage as the other racials. Uh, Preantial Calm, your spellcasts are no longer delayed when you get hit, that's pretty cool. Um, reduced cost of void storage and transmog, and of course you're resi resistant to shadow uh, damage. The first one, Spectral Riff, is kind of like a uh, kind of a crappy blink, I guess. You do need to have the achievement, you are now prepared, and you need to be exalted with Argusian Reach on Argus. You are not prepared, it's just basically completing all the quests on Argus. Once you're ready, you can go ahead and talk to Illyria, and, or talk to the king and choose that you want to choose Void Elf, complete the quest, and then Illyria Windrunner will have a quest for you. Accept. And what she's going to do is she's going to tear a void. If you've done any of the quest line, which obviously you had to at this point, you kind of know what that is. So she's going to take you to the Ghostlands. Um, here in the Ghostlands, basically you're going to be uh, gathering three books. I'm not going to show you exactly how to get to them because it's pretty straightforward on the map. There's nothing like hidden or secret way or anything. You're just going to go to uh, the locations marked on the map. You have one really close to where you start, one kind of um, in the middle, and then one in the very top right. Uh, this is the first one, just kind of showing you it's on a table here. You just go ahead and touch it. That's all you have to do. Second one in a similar building on the table again. The third one I'm going to show you a little bit more because I actually, um, dumb me, I don't do much stuff with the Blood Elves. Didn't really know how these buildings work that well, I guess. So the first one's not down here on a table or anything. So that's the first place I looked. Kind of scanning the room, scanning the room. It's out there. Okay, let's check up this ramp here. Okay, there's nothing up here. <laughs> and so then I'm going to, you go up through here, and there's a little portal you can click on. That's not the hard part. So I was up here, and looking straight ahead, for some reason I couldn't tell that there's a ramp on the left side. So again, it's not in this thing. There's a ramp on the left side, which you'll see shortly. But I'm here looking for the note. Couldn't find it. Oh, well. Go outside. There's a ramp. Now oh, it's a little better. And this last one is just right here in the middle here. So uh, when you get all three of the little books done, you can just talk to Illyria. Complete quest. Now she's going to uh, tell you to complete the scenario. Then you get, unlock it and get them out. And there you go. Uh, however, the scenario is a little bit long, but it's not as time consuming as the Light Forge. When you first get in here, you're going to talk to um, this Void Elf here, Umbrick, I believe his name. Um, and then you're going to follow them for a little bit. So there's going to be a little bit of role playing. There's quite a bit of role playing. I skipped through most of it. Um, as much of it as I could, really. So they're going to be uh, talking about opening up this box. Illyria's like, maybe you shouldn't do that. When you open the box, you actually don't even have to kill anything. I found out uh, after I kind of pulled stuff and was killing it. Uh, you don't have to kill anything. You can actually just go over to this void portal and click on it. So they don't interrupt you or anything. Unless they change that from the time of making this video. Um, so yeah, so the, during this part, you actually do have to kill some stuff. You have a little uh, tracker. Uh, if you use, especially if you use the Blizzard UI on the right side, so you just got to get that to 100%. Uh, I'm sure if you have a custom UI that it use, has something similar. So then after that, you just need to go to the end of the runway here and click on the next void portal. That's basically what you're going to be doing. Click on different void portals and take you to the next stage, stage 6. The stages, you basically just kill a bunch of these little things until you get to 100% again. It doesn't take long. They don't have much health. If you don't have as much gear, maybe you don't want to pull everything. I don't know. Uh, they didn't seem to really do much damage, though, at least not to me. Again, you might not have a lot of gear. You might just be doing this to unlock the Void Elf. You might be a Horde character, even, that don't have that you normally don't play Alliance. So, so Stage 7, this is not the last boss. You just have to kill this. I didn't pop any cooldowns for him. It's just easy. It's stage Now we're on to Stage 8. <laughs> and we go to the next Void thing. So th this is going to be towards the end here. So to do this one, you just have to kill these little ads, guarding these little... Uh, these little boxes with the magic coming out of them. And uh, they're called Void Forges, apparently. Once you get all three, then you hit the final stage, and that's to kill uh, the head uh, ethereal guy. So, yeah, I just popped the cooldown, DPSed him down. He wasn't too hard at all. Uh, wasn't too bad or anything. Again, less gear, maybe. 
maybe it's harder, but I doubt it. They just want you to unlock these. So I doubt that's going to be too big of a deal. So now there's going to be quite a bit of role playing right here. Uh, you can click on the portal at any time or you can wait for the role playing to be over. And then that'll just take you back to Stormwind. Once you're in Stormwind, you just turn in the quest and then you'll have it unlocked. Uh, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and ask me the questions. Um, other than that, everybody have a good one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Thumbs up and sub as always. Also comment below, share the videos. Appreciate it so much. You can also check me out at Twitter at WowGamingInc and uh, at Twitch with the tag name Kneecap Killer. So uh, everyone have a good one and see you again soon.